right before I start the video, I just like to say thank you to everyone who subscribed. I hit 75 subscribers and I hit over 10k views on my total channel. So yeah, let's let's get started. All right, we're gonna be installing the RAM on the HP Gaming Pavilion desktop, model number TG01-0023W. This is the one with the 1650 Super, the Ryzen 5 3500, 8 gigs of DDR4 RAM, and then at 256 gigabyte SSD in two, and a 430 watt 80 plus efficiency power supply. Let's get started. All right guys, so I went with the Corsair Vengeance LPX, uh, DDR4 obviously, it's two channel, or dual channel, channel, eight gigs per stick, uh, 16 gigabytes total, 3600 megahertz. I believe this motherboard can only handle 3200 megahertz, so we'll see. Um, it might just clock this down to 3200, we'll find out. If not, I have some other RAM right here that I don't know the clock speed of, but we'll find out, and I have some more RAM too elsewhere that we can also use. So, let's begin. Remember, you're gonna to wanna to pop this off, you know, using a little flathead. I already got it loose. Push to the left, pops off. Um, just to make this simple, pop this off. Right here. Put your little bolts in your little side dish. Remember this pulls up, pops off. And this one, to get this off, you gotta push these, pull them up, one by one. And then there's a bolt right there. And this one also, pull up a little bit, give it a little jiggle, pops right out. Awesome. So yeah, here's your RAM. And there's gonna be two little tabs on the side, one right here and one right there. And that just literally popped out. It's some Samsung RAM. And let's see, just eight gigs, obviously 20, 2,666 megahertz. That's the clock speed. Uh, let's get that vengeance opened up. There's that Vengeance LPX, nice and shiny, brand spanking new. So yeah, let's put this in. Now whenever you push these in, don't be afraid to push down. And then you hear them click and you see both little white things on the side. Basically move in and lock this in place. And just make sure you line this little tab up with the one in here. Just like that, you're done. So yeah, let's get all this put back together. This has those little tabs you line up first, push that down. And then same one with this. The one bolt goes right here, right here. Don't forget to put out the bolt inside. You put the side panel on. You're gonna wanna put this side in first. There's these little tabs right here, here, and here. Just basically kind of get it started on there. Push this side down a little bit. You'll see here kind of click. And then you're gonna push these in and they all click in place. Grab your side panel. Line it up, push, and then there's a little side thing right here. There you go, all done. So yeah, let's get her all plugged up underneath the desk and uh, run a bench test and see the difference between this and the other stuff. Okay, we're gonna do the first power on. Since the new RAM is installed, see how fast it is. All right, we are on. And let's go run the user benchmark real quick. So 
So here are the results. Gaming went up to 57. Desktop went up to 89. Workstation went up to 51. And you can see right here, 13.9 gigabytes of 16 gigabytes. Overall, the Corsair Avengers LPX RAM was a great improvement in gaining the numbers in the benchmark. If you wanted to get a full game, though, you need to have an aftermarket motherboard, which has features like XMP profiles, extreme memory profiles, which is what it stands for, and gives you higher frequencies in your RAM. The HP motherboard actually restricted this RAM and clocked it down slower than the factory RAM that came with the computer. Yeah, they're both DDR4 RAM, but they're like different grades. It's one way to put it in HP's particular and what goes in their motherboards. If you wanted to upgrade beyond where I did with the RAM, here are the max specs you can have. 64-bit Windows system, 32 gigs of unbuffered or called unregistered RAM. It has to be UDIM RAM, which UDIM RAM is for consumer computers usually. There is also RDIM buffered or you can call it registered RAM, which is meant for servers. So stay away from that for this PC. You can have a max speed of 32 megahertz for the RAM and then also 16 gigs of RAM per channel. Hope you enjoyed the video.